Something else really handy is the ability to basically add points in the audio envelope to do a quick duck or increase in volume on the audio. So I'm going to insert a volume envelope. I'm going to unselect this so you can see a little better. And what I'd like to do is when it gets to this point in the video is to duck this down so it's not as loud. Let's say we want to have some narration going on at that time. So the old way to do it is to double click, double click, double click, double click. Now we have four points and just pull down in between. Now we have an area that we can actually duck the audio fairly easily here. So now instead of having to put these points in manually, we have this great new trick we can do. And that is to draw out a time selection and just grab that part of the envelope and voila, automatically we have four points created for us just that quick. By default, it's going to be a very abrupt drop. So we might want to adjust that actually to do a fade instead of just a quick drop. So let's go to Options, Preferences, Editing, and right here we have time selection envelope fades and that's what we just created that's called a time selection envelope fade and the value is in milliseconds at zero of course it doesn't take any time at all and let's do something a little more useful in the real world and have it take a second to do the fade in and fade out I'm going to change it to a thousand milliseconds otherwise known as one second and let's do another one now I'm actually going to undo the ones that are in here, including the manual ones. Let's create a time selection. And there you go. Now it's going to take one second to go from the old value to the new value, and another second to go back up again. I'm going to fine tune that by holding the control key. And being able to use that control key for the fine tuning is also a new feature. And something else we have control over is where the points are going to land in relationship to that time selection. So right now these points are centered right in between the boundaries of that time selection. I'm going to go ahead and go to options, preferences, editing and right below where I was setting how many milliseconds that transition was going to take there's an alignment option here you see it's set on centered and the two other choices are outside and inside so let's try outside let's just move down a little bit here and you can see that the points now are winding up in a different relationship to that time selection let's do one more and try the inside and I think you'll guess where that's going to wind up The boundaries of the fade are entirely within the time selection.